Welcome back everybody. Today um, I just want to show you one of my latest uh, acquisitions. Uh, recently I got a new stone as the title uh, says is a copa and is a Nakayama uh, copa, Jaina, um, or so the vendor said. Could be anything, right? But it does feel like a Nakayama. <laughs> and I got it from a vendor in Japan, which I so far had very good luck with and I trust. So that's the important part. Really doesn't matter what mine it came from as long as it performs. So now, why a Copa? Um, Copa means that it's not the original rectangle or square form. It's, it's an odd shape. Um, so this one is obviously odd shaped and it's about thicker than an inch in one side and it's thinner in the other side right so a lot of you guys were say well, well, well ask yourself like you know what is the benefit of having a copa over a full size stone eight by three usually or whatever two by six <clears throat> well these are cheaper so Cheaper is always good, and they will perform, uh, a lot of these will per are perform or perform as good um, or as bad as a regular 8x3 by, by JNAD. Um, this one is really nice so far. Um, I have only lapped it, <laughs> and I ran this racer through it uh, for like literally like two minutes, and this was didn't even have a bevel set. Um, so I was just checking her out and so far my first impressions are that they, she might be a little softer than what I was expecting but it is really smooth to the touch so sometimes soft is not bad so let's check her out so right now it's just a chunk right let's get her wet The cool things about Copas is that they have a lot of character. Look at that. They have a lot of character. They're not normal stones. The bad thing is that a lot of them are not really flat. Some of them are. This one will sit flat. And even you have to put a lot of pressure on that side, but you can hone in this side. No problems. It's nice and stable. Um, Copas are awesome because they usually smaller and they usually fit on your hand. If you've been to see my other channel, my Copa Osuku, that was a huge stone. And I did hold in my hand a lot of the times. That was a huge stone, right? So let's uh, slur her up, see how she does. I'm not shaving off of this stone yet. And uh, so I don't know. For what I saw while lapping it, was that she, it was not as hard as I was going to hope. It's slurry really fast. Um, came almost flat. Um, that's DMT325, if you were wondering. And... Uh, So I bevel set uh, this razor and I'm just gonna go and have some fun with it, right? Bevel set it on a 1K and actually I meant to do more than that, that I, I meant to go to a, at least a 4K um, before doing this video, but, but I forgot. So here we are. <laughs> At least this will tell me um, the cutting speed of this this stone. Right? So the reason I'm going around is so you guys can see how in a copa sometimes there's not one or two ways to hone. Uh, you can hone in many many different ways. And look how big that stone is. Right? So you can hone this way. 
not there because I have not lapped that out. I can hone this way. I'm trying a different angle on the camera. You guys let me know if you like this angle or not. Seems like a zoom in on it. Um, and then I have my stand and figure why not. So the slurry right now has turned darker yellow. Um, so it's cutting. It's cutting fast. I'm not doing any pressure. It's not cutting super fast. It's not, you know, the fastest cutter out there. So far, I'm happy with the cutting speed. I don't try to hone, uh, you know, out for speed. It's just because I like to hone. So let's see. Let's go this way. And you can just have some fun with it. Different experience, right? <laughs> this way is smaller, so this way is a long way. Yeah. But this slurry is mounting up all the way. Um it's undercutting nicely. So let's add some more water in there. For driplets. And right now I'm just having some fun with it. Um, I want to see how how it gets and if I can do a, a one stone hone on it. Um, I'm not following any patterns here guys. I'm just so you guys can see how this stone is performing. Um, is undercutting really nice really nice I'm very surprised that is already undercutting the way it is uh, not applying any extra pressure the same pressure I use the same pressure always or try my best um, if you haven't heard me say this uh, I, I like that the same pressure always it keeps the variables to a minimum, uh, less things you change, the less variables you have on your honing regimen. You already have a ton of variables. Uh, metal, uh, metals are different, made differently by different people, by diff different countries. Hardnesses are different, stones are different, shapes. You know, it's a hollow, it's a, it's a wedge. So the least amount of variables you can add to your formula, which is getting this shape ready uh, on your regimen, uh, the, the better for you. The, the easier it is to identify a flaw, something you didn't do right, etc. Another thing I like about, you probably... I've noticed already is that you can play with the slurry I like about these type of stones right small stones you can hold in your hand you can see where the slurry is going and you can move it around and play with it uh, I really enjoy that it gives me more control um, I feel it better have better feedback if you would and right now See if you can hear it. It's nice and smooth. I really dig it. So, nice. All right. So, I'll leave that slurry there. And I'll check on their scope. And no, I have not bought a new scope. You're not gonna see awesome scope pictures, but let's see what we got so far. Boom, $4 in Amazon.
<laughs> Forex. See what we got. Oh, nice. It's like no scratches on this thing. It's nice and be blasted. Guys, when you're using these, play with the angles. Play in the angles that you are um, shining to it. Um, you'll be surprised. You might think that you, you have it figured out, that it's done, and you play with the angle and the light shines right, and it's not right. <laughs> so, I don't want to make this video super long. Uh, so, I'm just going to, a little bit more, give you guys a... Let's change the angle and I'm just gonna start diluting because why not right and uh, I'm gonna give this this racer a try it's looking really nice I, I still need to do some some tests see how my is cutting hair and all that uh, but I think I'm gonna go from the 1k to this one and shave off of it and then go and try the same with a 4k and then shave off of that uh, 4k and then this one and then the 8k and that's how I like to uh, check out my my stones because uh, why not right but I think this the stone is doing really well. This razor feels amazing. It's like undercutting all the way to the top. So let's get some of that out. I rinse in the razor, add in some more water, and right now I have very slight slurry. And I just dumped it all. But get you a better, different angle. That's good that I dumped it all. Let's wash it off. Get no slurry in there. Rinse it off. I feel some stickiness. Not much, but just right. All right. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop here to not make this video too long. And I'm going to show you this stone uh, while wet. It's like really cool. Uh, trying to get the camera to catch it. But like right here, it's like a nice cool spot. It's like, let's see if you guys see it. Man, the camera does not give it justice right there. It's really cool. It's like a little sun on it. All right, guys. Um, like I said, I just wanted to keep this one short. So, copas. Copas are awesome. Copas are cheap. Copas are as capable as a regular stone. So, because they're cheaper, I like them better. <laughs> Plus, usually you can hold a copa in your hand. Um, you know, in the cuticle world, they call them bouts. Uh, same, same. Uh, <laughs> they're just not your normal. They're usually smaller. This one is wide as hell. Um, but, hey guys, don't forget to subscribe. Like this video if you liked it. You can leave me some comments. Be nice about it. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I will be featuring this this stone further on uh, I'll do some 
after 4K, after 8K, maybe videos. Uh, if not, I'm finishing video with it. And maybe refreshing a uh, eraser. So, see you guys later. Uh, all I'm going to do right now is do some stropping, do some light passes, and then I'm going to shave with this tomorrow morning. See how it goes. Uh, I'll let you guys know uh, how it goes. Thank you for watching. See you guys later.